why am I doing what I'm doing? Why have I got interest in developing entrepreneurs? The African entrepreneurs who are in the Western world and those in the mainland Africa. Why am I doing this? Why? Why bother? See what? I have a firm belief that uh, entrepreneurship is more like somebody who is uh, gifted to spot uh, problems and create a solution around that problem. Problem. So that no longer that situation will persist, but they create a solution. Now that solution which is created has to remain sustainable. The solution is here, the problem is here. The people are supposed to access the solution so that it can no longer be in the problem need. Therefore, access a solution that is well packaged. It's got all the principles that you need. Number one, there's good customer care. There's good packaging. There is good record keeping. And there is innovative ways of providing that service or oh, giving out that product, which now the people can use. Therefore, they can't no longer remain in the problem. Who has created a solution? It's an entrepreneur. Now, if this entrepreneur, regardless of their creativity in creating solutions, regardless of their zeal in creating solutions, in trying to move things forward, if the knowledge isn't there, that solution which they seek to provide for the public to use, or whosoever, or whosoever is in need, won't be there in the way that it can save you and I in a very good way. Neither would be able to provide a way of growth because there isn't that knowledge for the entrepreneur to plan a roadmap to growth and expansion, thereby creating employment or franchising the same vehicle which is solving a problem to others who can also launch similar businesses. Another problem is if there isn't knowledge amongst the target group that I'm seeking to support, those that already know how to run businesses, how to make businesses grow, if they want to partner, they are actually at a disadvantage because they'll partner with somebody who hasn't got their technical know-how. Therefore, if you partner with them, that kind of business vehicle you launch as a result of your partnership won't function as good as it would if the other partner also had entrepreneurial education. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So you and I, we can make a difference by providing resources which can help the African entrepreneur. The knowledge transfer is critical. Why? Because knowledge informs you of what you can do in a very very good way and what you shouldn't do because that thing is not working for you and cannot work for you in that domain of business only when you have been educated in that way this is why i'm doing what i'm doing you export so much stuff into africa africans travel up and down they are very gifted in business. Others have escaped the loop of lack of knowledge in entrepreneurship. They are doing all right. But there is a group of people. There is a group of people who are zealous and they mean very well. I want to reach them and I want them to get the skills that they need, which are tailor made to the particular type of business. To the particular type of business. We help them to understand how to step out. We help them to understand how to look at the cost uh, benefits analysis holistically, which means finances, time, and other things that 
come with the cost of launching a business. We want them to understand the financial schedules, the projections. We want them to learn how to structure partnerships because this is critical. We are in a global village. You can't do a business as an island. You gotta work with other people. How does this work? I want the African entrepreneurs who we are targeting to have this kind of knowledge because they are very gifted, I can tell you that. They are very gifted, very gifted at doing business in the way that they understand best. But I want us to add value to that. I've shared a good story on my uh, regional things of the people that I've worked um, uh, in, in my path and we have assisted them. We have showed them how to do certain things. Now they're doing well. And if you read on this uh, uh, presentation where I just above or below, I don't know where the video is going to be placed, you see a gentleman that is in Africa via the online system. We have supported him. We have guided him through our own resources. He hasn't had much resource to pay for anything, but we support it fully. Where is he now? He is graduating this year. That's what I'm talking about. He is in a place where he is um, um, underprivileged. So much uh, um, happened around his life. But where is he now? He is graduating this year. That's what I'm talking about. And an entrepreneur. If you click on the website, you see a story. And of course, there are so many people. What I'd like you to do is to partner with me. Partner with me. Let's make a difference. I've been privileged to be exposed to a wide range of facilities, resources, and a wider community, both the uh, uh, people in leadership in different circles, and those people who are still beginning in the, uh, what we call the journey to entrepreneurship, or the journey as an entrepreneur, or the journey as a businessman or woman, have been exposed to those as well. I know what it is to wonder where to go to find information. I know how it feels to look for uh, a consultant who can give you a an affordable price that you can do consultation. It is very hard. But these people are very gifted. All I want you and I to do is to just lend a hand, just an extra push. So I want you to subscribe to this campaign, Educating Entrepreneurs. Think about this. When everyone is well informed, you can actually now do business at a better and higher level with clarity. Less confusion because every pa each party in the partnership or each party in the transaction, they understand what's involved and where they're going and what they're doing. It is that little push. You and I can make a big difference. This is quite unusual. Mostly people like to say, look, why support entrepreneurs? Already they, they have an ability to create solutions and make money. I want to ask a simple question. What if this businessman or woman is focusing on a micro type of a business, but with that little push, they go big and they create employment in the community. They employ hundreds of people. Therefore, they're now solving social problems. Because these people who are employed before, they become employed in that business. Once they become employed, other social issues, they are cut down because the, the time they were spending on the street is now removed. They are fully employed into this business. What about their families they come from? The income level increases. The access level of their children to education increases. Therefore, there's better movement in the community. What about health? Stress levels are reduced because of due to worry. Worry would have been removed because these people are now growing in the business. Their mind is no longer focused on where they're gonna get the, the next uh, piece of bread because they're earning money and they're working. What happens now to governments as well? They become even stabler because they've got a community that is self-sustainable, a community that can add value to what's happening in the global village. So you and I can make a difference. I want you to follow me. 
This is exciting. In my philosophy of what I believe, planning for development must be at least 250 years. Then you break that into little pieces, achievable pieces. We have done 11 years in what we call uh, Makaya Wingi, power in coming together, the crowd that can make a difference in developing businesses through conferences, workshops. Now, the reason why I'm talking about the longevity of your plan is to make a plan that will help people after you to come and build that kind of business. So, not just in your lifetime, but for the many hundreds of years to come, people must come and build on that foundation which you love started. This is the mindset I like you to think. And we, you and I, together, we can help entrepreneurs. I like entrepreneurs from Africa or in the Western world to be developed at a very higher level. And this will be a significant push that will make a difference in your community and my community. I'm waiting for your click. Thank you. Signing off. This is Dr. John Lucamona.